All right, guys, random start of the video. I meant to film an intro at the house, but it was like 5 a.m. when we left. Super tired, and well, we're at Bucky's right now, and we just got into Alabama. We're heading to Texas right now. Got the truck, no boat. Trailer hitch is empty. That's because we're going to pick up the new boat and get my new Mayak 25 Extreme. I'm heading all the way down to Corpus Christi today, picking it up tomorrow morning, bright and early at Premier Boating Centers and probably swinging by my act say hey to everybody and then driving all the way back home so about 12 and a half hours down with not that bad of traffic this morning i'm sure towing the boat home on monday will go a little slower but 12 and a half hours straight driving that's not including stops it's a long way so it's freezing out here we're gonna hit the road and i'll see y'all the next stop guys they're waiting on me downstairs but I didn't do a good job explaining yesterday so it's the next morning from yesterday when you saw me we made it to Corpus Christi last night around 5 30 5 45 so right on time it took us just over 12 hours to get here everything's all good but we were driving and just trying to make it down here we weren't, weren't too worried about filming um, you know we were just trying to get down here quick that way we could get some food get a good night's rest and you know get up early get the boat first thing this morning and hit the road because we got to be back in Panama City tonight so 12 hours down here 12 and a half hours down here and then over 12 hours to get back because we're gonna have to get gas more tow in the boat and all that kind of stuff but my dad's with me Trevor Taylor one of the guys who fishes redfish tournaments he's got a Mayak 22 like I used to have a little bit different setup but he's here with us he just decided to ride he uh, had some time off and just wanted to give us an extra person if we need to take a break and swap drivers or anything and you know just make it a little easier on us so he's calling me right now actually probably wondering where I am but we're about to go hop in the truck it's 740 there I told him we'd be at the dealership at 745 and we're only like five minutes away so we will see y'all in just a second at the dealership with a new boat all right guys so Got the boat, got all the paper signed, and we're all hooked up. And y'all are about to see it. So. Is that in your background? No, you're good. Trevor, you're always welcome. So, there she is. We got the black powder coated trailer, and it just looks awesome. It doesn't show dirt and road grime and stuff quite as much as in like normal chrome ones. We got the TH strip lights this time inside the trailer, not up on top like my last ones. That's just the way they did it. So I think that'll end up looking pretty cool. We'll find out at night time. And black powder coated cleats. There's a lot different on this boat from the last one, but check out these wheels. Black vision wheels, big wide tires make it super nice towing. And on the back, we got a Mercury 350 Verado. No poles yet. We're going to put those on. We're going to try and see if we can get them on brackets on the Atlas, but we're not sure yet. Man, we'll put them on the transom. Mercury Bravo 1, 23 and a half pitch Bravo 1 XS. Apparently, that's a good starting prop. We're going to play with props a little bit, but this boat is absolutely loaded. And I'll take y'all inside and show y'all what we're looking at here. So we'll start at the bow. So difference between 25 and 22, I have rod lockers on the side. So we can put five rods in this rod locker. Or just extra storage if we're not carrying rods. Same thing on this side. I think it comes standard with one as a rod locker, the other one storage, but you can have them do both sides rod lockers doesn't really take up any more room so it's just if you need it you got it and then main hatch really similar to the 22 the prop box and I got wet sounds sound system on the front here I got two more in the back apparently this thing sounds unreal 
with these speakers. Something I didn't have on the last bit of the sound system. So that'll make it nice. Out in the water. And then the anchor storage, just like the last one, in the front. The only difference is the rod tubes take a little bit of room, but with the extra storage in this boat, it doesn't matter. And got the troll motor at home. We're not ready for, we didn't bring it with us, but it's all ready to go. Plug in on the troll motor. And then front live well, pretty similar to the last one. Just a little bit bigger than the small one on the last one. And this is awesome little secret hatch right here so you can throw some stuff in there it'll stay dry when you're out on the water really high quality grab handle powder coat and everything's awesome on it got the new upgraded steering wheel it's got a good feel to it with the turn knob jack plate control and i have a simrad 12 inch simrad evo 3 we just pulled it off because we're going to be driving here in a second but Got it on the dash, didn't put it flush mount this time because when you're driving, it's easier to see it right in front of you instead of looking over the side. And the glare sometimes makes it weird looking on the side of the console. But Mercury Smart Craft gauges, trim tabs, got all the nice Mayak custom panel. And then that's for my sound system, that's all it is. It's all Bluetooth control from your phone. You don't have a huge thing taking up room on the on your dash. Cup holders. And we got the same seats the last time with the individual fold down footrest. It's not one big bar like on the last one. So if your passenger wants to sit and you want to stand, it's out of the way. We got nothing under the console. All the batteries are in the back. So it's just open. You can throw a tackle bag under there, cooler, whatever. Water holders on the back. Got a room for a cooler back here. Got the rear seat. battery powered battery back here and we just threw that in because we can't ship lithium batteries but this rear hatch is way bigger and it has a super nice fuse panel makes everything all your wiring neat keeps everything dry makes everything easy to work on on that panel we got the cranking battery back here still a ton of room and it's just so much more storage than, this, than the 22 and like I said, the only thing we got to do is throw power poles on and power pole charge. And then here's the rear seat back. We're actually going to pull this off. All right, so we pulled the rear seat off, the seat back. This seat stays the hell, so it helps keep your live well insulated. But here's the main live well on the 25. We got a recirculator and fill in here, obviously. And it's a lot larger than the 22, deeper. And it goes front and back a little bit further so keeping two reds alive in there won't be a problem whatsoever we got the troll motor around the back just like the last one and this cooler will come out if i'm running the troll motor back there that should be nice for fish box running trips and stuff and then over here on this hatch is where we're going to have our lbp troll motor batteries in here and i got one with me and one at the house but they're easy just toss in and everything's ready to go plug and play that'll take five minutes to get on and then that hole right there is actually a drain plug for these rear ones if you're washing everything out makes it all super easy because it doesn't connect through to the other side like on the 22 this is a totally sealed hatch so keep everything nice and clean in there a lot a lot easier and then unlike the 22 the 25 has this big hatch back here it's actually storage unlike 22 where it was impossible to get anything down in the bilge worked on so we got our pumps for our live well that'll be super easy to change out there's my power steering pump for the Verado and then down in that is how you get your bilge pumps live well intake pumps and everything and make it a breeze to work on versus the 22 but you can throw a spare prop right there do all kinds of stuff make it super easy to work on pretty much it so we'll go look at the outside one more time real quick it's a big old boat Russell here at Premier Yamaha made it a dream to work with made everything attention to detail second to none like I said six inch Atlas hydraulic heavy-duty jack plate 
and Mercury 3 feet of Verado. Like on the cash register, on we got the TH underwater lights right here. And we also have lights under the gunnel and in the console. Wet sound speakers in the back, like I said. Power switch on the outside, easy to get to. All we got to do is throw the charge in, drop the LEP 12 motor batteries in, and throw the poles on. So it shouldn't be too hard. And uh, when we get home, Tonight I'll get a little rest. We're not going to get a whole lot of sleep. We're going to be getting in super late, but tomorrow morning we'll start working on the boat and probably bring y'all along with me for that and get the poles mounted, get the charge mounted, and do all the fun stuff. Then it's time to go hit the water, but it is a big old boat, and she flies too. Russell had it out to 67 miles an hour into the wind, and you can only run it for one minute hard at the beginning of the break-in. So. Didn't even have a chance to really play with it and adjust the jack plate or anything while he was running. But 67 on the rev limiter for one minute into the wind in a 25 and a half foot boat. So it's a uh, big old boat that'll it's extremely versatile and she'll fly. So time to hit the road and get back to Panama City. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here editing the video that y'all just watched, driving out to Texas to get the boat, and as you can tell already, you probably noticed that the driving portion, there isn't a whole lot of footage, and actually, after I get done showing y'all the boat, that's pretty much all recorded as far as the trip out to Texas. Um, just driving, we were like really on a mission, I guess you could say, to get out there and get back. Uh, my dad had a meeting he had to be at, Trevor had to go to work the next day. He's in the Air Force, if you don't know that, and they're not super lenient on, you know, calling in sick. So, he uh, had to get back on Monday night to work on Tuesday. My dad had a meeting Tuesday morning, like I said. So, we were on a mission to get back. We didn't do a whole lot of filming in the truck. I actually drove the whole way there and the whole way back. Um, traffic wasn't that bad, so it, it wasn't that hard getting there and getting back. But, because of that, we didn't get a whole lot of footage. And I didn't film an outro to that video because I was planning on... Continuing that video because I filmed the next day installing the batteries and the charge and doing some other stuff on the boat And I was planning on including that and then possibly even including mounting the power poles in all one video But as you can tell the video is already 11 something minutes long I don't really like to go past 20 minutes on my videos and it would be like an hour long video And it would just get super boring just working on the boat. So That's kind of why I'm doing this right now because I only filmed you know one outro at the very end of the video because I kept recording over three days doing stuff on the boat and After looking at everything that would just be entirely way too long if I wanted to be a detailed video um, And not just super broad and I really want to show you all how I installed the charge and the power poles and all that kind of stuff so Because of that I'm gonna actually gonna divide them into three videos. This will be the first one and then I'll have one doing the batteries and the charge and I think a little bit of stuff on the troll motor and then I'll have one doing a power pole install. And then I'm gonna do a more detailed boat walkthrough. I know that was kind of long on the boat walkthrough, but I kind of want to show y'all more precise things and why I chose what I did when I was ordering the boat and building the boat. And just kind of give you a more detailed view of the boat and everything now that I have everything on it and it's all set up. So with all that being said, I'll quit rambling, but that's gonna do it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video because I will show you all how I installed my charge and my batteries and there's a lot of really good information on the next video. I know this one was kind of all over the place but I'm not very good. I'm not a good movie producer um, so that's just all there is to it. But thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet you're going to want to do that because we got a lot of really good stuff coming on the new 25 and got some new fishing tips videos coming doing some rigging stuff, so um, y'all definitely want to see that, so make sure you're subscribed. Like I said, give this a thumbs up, and thank you for watching, and bye.